Chapter 1. Poisonous Plot. You are listening at FameTV.com. Chapter 1. Poisonous Plot Like every usual day, after Zi Yu went to greet her mother. law, old lady Chan, she proceeded to the herb garden to tend and water her plants. She was in a daze as she looked at the field of green and purple plants. Ziyu has always wondered naively that if dabbled in medicine, could she have prevented her second uncle and grandfather from falling ill? If so, would they still be alive? If they were alive, even if she was divorced by the duke, at least there will still be a home that she could return back to. It would definitely be better than her current predicament. Under the influence of her stepmother, her father called her shameless and accused her of seducing her father. Law. He even resorted to threatening her, forbidding her from returning home, fearing that she would disgrace him. When Ziyu thought of her grandfather whom she had always been close to, her second uncle who was like a father figure in her life and her bedridden second aunt, she could not help but be enveloped in sadness. So much so that she started crying. Milady and milady, at this moment, a maidservant dressed in yellow panically ran towards her and said, bad news. A moment ago, Mistress Lan Xian was complaining of stomach pain, after the imperial doctor diagnosed her, he said that her anti-abortifacient medicinal soup was laced with a miscarriage-inducing agent. Mistress Lan Xian's maidservant Xiao, um, said that earlier on, Yen Hong, another maidservant, had gone to the place where the medicine was brewed and was caught red-handed by the duke. Yen Hong has already confessed. She said that it was under milady's order that she laced the medicine with the miscarriage-inducing drug. Upon hearing this, Ziyu let out a deep sigh. Oh. It seems like they are not going to let me off the hook till I give up my position of the first lady. TL. Ziyu is the legal-slash-first wife of the duke. Mistress Lan Xian is the second wife, what's even more hateful is that Mistress Lan Xian happens to be her best friend and relative. After Zi Yu married the duke for only half a year, her grandfather, Great Yan's old general Zheng Hao, second uncle. Great Yan's second general Mu Yi, both died from an illness while fighting a rebellion in Nanjiang. She was devastated and on top of that, three months pregnant. It was a time when she needed someone there for her. This Yu Lan Xian, under the arrangement of Zi Yu's stepmother, Wang Yiping, entered the duke's residence under the pretense of caring for her. In no time, this woman got involved with her husband. As Zi Yu thought of her stepmother and best friend, she could not help but lament that she was too soft-hearted and naive. Lan Xian was not only her stepmother's niece but also her best friend. This woman was extremely similar to her stepmother Yiping, a venomous snake. She treated such people as her precious kin and heeded their every advice. When the Duke and Lan Xian's affair broke out, her stepmother and Lan Xian knelt before her. They begged and asked for her agreement in order to make Lan Xian, the Duke's second legal wife, have the same status as her. Unable to bear seeing her best friend cry, she actually agreed to it. This was equivalent to inviting a wolf into your home. On the surface, Lan Xian was very respectful to her. However, once her grandfather and second uncle passed on, Lan Xian revealed her fangs. Not only did Lan Xian backstabbed her, she was constantly badmouthing her in front of the duke. Her mother. And law, old lady Chan was also finding every opportunity to make things difficult for her. Especially after this bitch got pregnant, she was unhappy being the second legal wife. She exhausted all means to rob Ziyu of the position of first legal wife. What about old lady Chen? When Ziyu's grandfather was alive, she never dared to bully Ziyu. However, once her grandfather had died she began revealing her true colors. There was a period of time Ziyu took care of her father in law when he fell sick. She did that because he treated her well. However under the influence of Lan Xian, old lady Chen starting doubting that Ziyu had seduced her husband. She might even be convinced that Zi Yu's unborn child belongs to her father. Law. Listen to the full novel at fametv.com, direct link in the description.